What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna check out a hidden scale tool inside of Blender that a lot of people don't know about. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is another tool that I found out about inside of the Blender Secrets ebook. So you've probably seen Jan's videos on the internet. If not, I'll link to them in the notes down below. So this ebook is 1800 pages of Blender tips, and um, it covers a little bit of everything from rigging to sculpting to animation, basically anything you could want to know about modeling in Blender. So if you do wanna check out this resource, I'll link to it in the notes down below. But specifically, we're gonna talk today about the scale cage. And so so usually the way that we scale things inside of Blender is we select them and then we tap the S key, right? And what that does is that scales your object about the object origin. And so you can do things like scaling uniformly. You can tap the X and Y keys in order to uh, lock the scaling to a certain direction. And so usually we're scaling about the object origin. So this can get a little bit limited if your object origin is somewhere off of your object or something like that. Luckily, there's a tool in Blender that you can access by clicking and holding on the scale right here and activating scale cage that is going to allow you to scale your object based on a cage that it puts around the object. So notice how whatever I select, it's going to add a cage around that object. If I do a shift click on multiple objects, it's going to add the cage around all of those objects. But what that does is that allows us to be more precise with the way that things scale. So for example, if I wanted to scale this down, I can scale it down in place by clicking and dragging the diagonal point. And notice what it's doing is it's taking your object and scaling it between this point and the corresponding point on your scale cage right here. And so you can use this in order to keep things uniform. Um, if you wanted to deform, you can click and scale this way across this object as well. And note that it pops up a little box in here that you can type in values. So for example, if I wanted to scale this just on the Z, I could just type in a value of 1.25 and scale it on the Z. And again, what it's doing is it's using this cage that's setting around the object in order to do that. Now, one of the cool things about this tool is not only will this work with singular objects, if you do a shift click, it's going to extend the cage around multiple objects which again, gives you a lot more control um, about the way that things are scaled. So for example, usually what happens is if we select these objects and let's say that I was to just activate the scale tool, right? It's going to find some point, usually the central point in here to scale things about. And you're a little bit limited to that. However, with the scale cage, this is going to allow us to scale it really in any direction that has a corresponding corner point. So you can use this to uniformly scale things this way, diagonally, this way, um, kind of wherever you want. It just gives you a lot more control over the way that you can scale things. And so if you do find yourself wanting to use this more, you can also use keyboard shortcuts in order to activate it. So if I click like this to select two objects, I can do a shift space and I can just type a three. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna activate the scale cage. So you can use the scale cage in order to quickly scale multiple different objects just like this inside of Blender. One thing to note is do make sure if you scale something down like this in your model, make sure that you apply your rotation and scale to all of the objects that you do that to um, so, that, so that if you do something like a bevel modifier or other tools, that those are gonna work properly. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the scale cage. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you want to check out the Blender Secrets ebook, I will link to it on this page. It's a great resource for just about everything having to do with Blender. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.